A U.S. judge has ordered North Korea to pay more than $500 million to the parents of Otto Warmbier, an American college student who died shortly after being released from detention in the Southeast Asian country. U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia Judge Beryl A. Howell ruled Monday that Pyongyang shall be liable for damages in the amount of $501,134,683.80 for what the student's parents insisted was his wrongful death, according to court documents. Warmbier was arrested in 2016 as he tried to leave the North at the end of a five-day commercial tour. Warmbier, who was then a student at the University of Virginia, had reportedly tried to steal a political poster from a restricted floor in his hotel. The student returned to the U.S. in June 2017 after negotiations led by U.S. President Donald Trump's administration. It was said back then that the 22-year-old was deaf and blind and had sustained severe brain damage from his time in detention. He died less than a week later in his hometown of Cincinnati after going into a coma. His parents, Fred and Cindy Warmbier, filed a lawsuit against the North Korean government in Washington last April, seeking $1 billion in damages, about 2.5% of North Korea's 2015 gross domestic product. They claimed that Pyongyang had violated international law by forcing Otto to admit that he was carrying out an act of subversion on behalf of the U.S. government. The lawsuit said the penalty was intended to prevent North Korea's unlawful behavior in future. The court ordered some includes more than $21 million in compensatory damages and $150 million in punitive damages that North Korea should pay the warm beers. The judge also ruled that each parent was entitled to the sum of $15 million in compensatory damages and $150 million in punitive damages. The damages would likely be paid from North Korea's frozen assets in the U.S., which amounted to around $63 million last year, as stated in the U.S. Treasury Department's Terrorist Assets Report. This means all of the frozen assets would only pay for the compensatory damages and the warm beers would receive the rest of the large sum only if the Trump administration agrees to press Pyongyang to pay it. North Korea has repeatedly denied accusations of torturing warm beer in detention. Was the $500 Minnesota warm beer suit decided, announced right as WH working on summit, to derail it? or to add pressure for a successful outcome by signaling that at real Donald Trump has SMTH to be angry up. Coincident timing can't be accidental. Any thoughts? democracy in and darkness greeted be. The North has made it clear that it won't tolerate any pressure by the Trump administration in the process.